what we're going to do here is poke some holes uh, in this T-bone steak. We are not massacring it. We are going to kick it up a notch, adding a little flavor to it. How do you ask? Well, stay tuned. A little salt. Some fresh cracked black pepper. Now, we're going to go ahead and install this piece of aluminum that we previously folded to be the right size. We're going to go ahead and stick that in there. We do two just to be safe. Press that. Doesn't want to go, no problem. It is live, so we're going to go with one. Stick two over here. Get, it, get that hole in there. Press it. There we go. Get your other one. You got two on this side, we're all good. Well, we got one on each side, not a problem. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Get ourselves uh, some whiskey that we prepared. Go about halfway in. There you go. Take these out. Continue the process. Put them in there. We're not trying to go all the way in, just about halfway. And this is gonna help us infuse a some of this flavor into our steak. We get our last ones. Go ahead and put them in there. Nice. And what we're gonna do here is go ahead and start squeezing it in there. It's okay if it overflows a little. It's gonna help with the flavoring. We're just trying to combine two of our favorite things steak and whiskey there we go now let me grab this baby get some butter on our grill just like that let's get our steak place it on there you hear that sizzle that is what we're looking for got that now we're going to come with some shredded cheddar drop it in Press that down just This is gonna caramelize and give us a nice coat to block in our next ingredient. We got some mac and cheese here that we're gonna place. We're gonna spoon it in like that. We want macaroni all in that thing. So go ahead and spoon it in as much possible use your spoon tap it down now to add a little flavor and a little color some parsley a little texture some crispy onions and we're gonna come back with one more layer of cheese got some shredded cheddar here go ahead and tap it down Press it down. We do want this to be nice and flat on top so we can get an even crust once we flip it. We go, go ahead and remove the cheese off of that meat. And now while this is cooking, we're gonna give that about two and a half, three minutes. I want this nice and medium rare. We're gonna come over here. We got some hot oil that we're gonna fry. Using this wooden spoon, we're gonna fry. Make some fries. A different way so you press that down this is a potato puree that we previously prepared I'm gonna go like this just twirl all the way around cut it off and drop it in your oil okay and go ahead and do a second one now if this breaks on you just go ahead and do it again it took me a few tries to get it down right get that all the way around you can find this recipe at chefclub.tv give it a little twist so they don't stick now we're going to come back to our steak just have a little spatula unstick that all around 
sure that it's nice. But flip it. Okay, count of three. One, two, and three. Okay, now, coming back over here. We're going to grab asparagus. Put it through the bacon. And just twirl. Break off the stock. Put it down. Same thing again. Grab it all the way in there, push it through. It's okay, that bacon will stick. Well, back again. Grab it, break that off. Place it with the rest. Break those off too. Got some barbecue sauce here. Let's give it a little brush. We're gonna throw these in the oven. We're gonna pass them to our friend here. Thank you, sir. Come back over here, they should be about ready. See that beautiful color? We're gonna place them over here and let them drip dry with the rest. We got done ahead of time for you guys. Wipe my hands real quick. Now, these have been resting a minute, so they're not hot anymore. You can just Make sure that you apply an even pressure all the way and twist, twist, and they should come out. If they break on you, just make some more, no problem. That is what we're looking for. We have prepared, uh, let's go ahead and grab this one. These here, and stick them in right through the center, all the way in. Roll them around in some parsley. And we're going to place it with the others right over here. Should be about time for our steak to be ready. So, grab it, a little twist. If it moves, it's ready. If it's still stuck, it's not ready. Our crust is done. By the way, if y'all like this grill, you can find it. We'll post the link for y'all. Grab this baby. Treat it with love. Remove that. Go ahead and give it a little turn. Wipe my hands real quick for you guys. Remove the skewers. It is hot, be careful. Open this up. Let's see about this crust. How does that sound? Beautiful. Enjoy. Okay.